Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, July 20th, 2019. You know, I forgot what time it is, but it's uh, 77 degrees, 68% humidity. The whiff of the linden tree is in the air. I went to sleep last night to the smell of that and woke up to the smell of that and the song of doves. Don't get much better than that. Cardinals and lilacs are pretty good though, but hey, we'll take that. And we were up quite early, let the loves out, and there was a fight between Max, or a fight brewing between Max and uh, one of the neighborhood strays, so I got everybody back in and I'd just been kind of laying and dozing. I have no idea, it must be around 9 o'clock, might be later than that, I don't even know. And I don't even care, really. Got a nice glass of ice water here with me, and pretty soon I'm going to tap into a tum summer treat that I haven't had in a long time, and I bought a watermelon yesterday, and I hope it's a good one. I'm going to go in and slice some of it up and sit here and eat it. Oh, yeah, there's a sky rat. Oh, yeah. It was a beautiful day yesterday. managed to get in a ride to Rockport. Went swimming out there, came home, regrouped, hung with the cats, had some shrimp, which I'll probably have some more of today. Boiled shrimp, ice boiled shrimp is a very good treat on a day like this. It's supposed to get up around 87 today. I think it was over 90 yesterday. I don't know exactly what, but it was awesome. I ended up driving out to Long Lake to my brother John's and uh, had a fire. Did some reminiscing about him. It was his birthday, he was 61. And got a chance to burn up some old documents that I got behind on my shredding. A lot of tax information and stuff with uh, stuff you just don't want to throw out, you know. My fear of identity theft. Look at, there's Max. There's Max. Hello, Max. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, sweetheart. I love you, buddy. Am I getting you in there? Am I getting you in there? Huh? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Oh, Mackie. Anyway. Oh, look at... Oh, look at... There's Sam. There's my Sam. There's Tammy. Hello, Sam. How are you, buddy? What you gonna do? You gonna come and cuddle with me? Hmm? Are you? Yeah, what a sweet boy you are. Sammy's a love. I love them all. Elsa and Mikey are still inside. They went back in after that altercation I mentioned earlier. Oh boy. It's hot and even cats don't do a whole lot in this weather. They find a cool spot to lay down or a warm cool spot I should say. A warm spot in the shade with a breeze. And Anyway. Today the big plan, well first let's get this out of the way. On this day 50 years ago, I was a mere 8, eight years old, a young lad as it were, going to turn 9 in November that year. But on this day the uh, Apollo 11 mission landed on the moon. And I remember that night around dusk or a little after going out in the backyard of our home on Lockwood Street with my mom and she was folding up some sheets that she had washed and put out to dry. Oh look at there's Mikey. Hey Mikey. Good morning. I love you buddy. Good second morning. You coming down? Oh look at you. Look at you. Three of my co-stars here with me. Just did a partial Mikey stretch. Yeah. Elsa will be coming along pretty soon I'm sure. Oh boy. So we got our meditation books here to read. We're going to say some prayers, probably shoot some pictures of our loves with our DSLR, and eat some watermelon for breakfast. And listen to the birds sing and smell the lilacs. So that's all we have for right now. We're going to take a break. Well, we are back, and there it is. And it's yummy. Sammy's coming to check out that. He's going to go have his breakfast. Mikey's over in his jungle. Hi, Mikey. I don't know if else came out while I was in there cutting that watermelon up. And I don't know where Maxie went. 
but I do know this. There's a plate of watermelon right there, and I'm going to start eating it. We are back. Maxie's coming to join us again. Check out the watermelon. I've been working on that plate full. And it's pretty darn good. Bad hair day going on, but that's that's normal. Um, another culinary treat we're going to have today is kettle corn. Art on the Bay is taking place. The Michigan uh, Brown Trout Festival is taking place downtown at the docks and at the beach area. and Not the beach area, at the harbor area. And there's a art show there every year, art fair, I don't know. A lot of it really is a craft type stuff, but there is some real nice art there. And anyway, there's kettle corn there every year. And that is a treat I reserve for once a year, like the local strawberries. And I could probably find it and buy it other times of the year. And as I recall, the gentleman that sells it said I can buy it and throw it in the freezer and it's just as good as when it's fresh popped. But to me, it's not. And it's it's one of them things like that, that linden tree that only comes once a year and you got to savor and enjoy it while it's there. So kettle corn is on the agenda, more swimming, possibly some biking today. I don't know for sure. I don't know that I'm going to do that. The weather, uh, there are threats of thunderstorms, scattered showers. There usually are this time of year, so who knows. Um, but I went for a good swim in Long Lake yesterday, and I swam out past over my head. That's what I always do, and then swam all the way back to shore. And it was, you know, a couple hundred yards, and good workout. And I treaded water for a while, you know. Rockport, I jumped in five times, swam around, and I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll bike back out there again. At this point, we can only speculate. Sammy just came by and went to go see where Maxie went. And we will take another break, and don't be surprised if those last two pieces of watermelon on that plate are gone when we come back. Ideally, the best way to eat watermelon is sitting on a dock with your feet in the lake and spitting the pits into the lake. But this is a seedless melon, and there are no pits, so I'm losing half the pleasure from it in that aspect, but it's still very good. It's a great way to wake up, like I said, with the scent of the linden tree and the songs of the doves, the breeze in the air, and it's another beautiful, beautiful summer day here in northeast Michigan. They take so long to get here, and they go by so fast. They are precious. They are precious. Speaking of precious, there's my lady. And as I've said before, nothing on earth is more, more precious to me than these sweet loves I share this life and this home with. Elsie, can you look at the camera, honey? How's my lady? How's my lady? You can come down. Where are you going, hon? Mikey's back over in his jungle. Hey, Mikey. Mackie's having some breakfast, second or third breakfast at this point, we don't know. And Tammy's off on an adventure somewhere. Tammy! Yeah, and I'm ready to go in and slice up some more watermelon. You gotta see this. It's a spider and some other insect hooking and jabbing. And I think the other insect just killed the spider. It did. Wow. I've never seen nothing like that before. That spider's dead. They were rocking and rolling, rolling around on the pavement. Now he's coming in. When he bit it, he must have paralyzed it with something, or either that or killed it outright. That's unbelievable. Survival of the fittest, baby. There's Els having a little breakfast. Haven't cracked the book yet, said a couple prayers. But that's all we have for right now. 
Peace and blessings and have a great day. Enjoy the time with the ones you're with.